all the things that in the past amputees were kind of afraid of, they're just really not limitations anymore if you have the equipment that fits your lifestyle. When you first come into my office, I'm going to look at you and I'm going to say, okay, what is it that you want to do and what is it that you're capable of doing right now? I need to pick components that complement what you're going to be doing. Your K level is your activity level and how active you want to be determines that. Some patients start out as one of those lower levels and progress to be one of the higher levels. So they may be K2 when they walk in my door, but at some point they may get back to running again and be a K4 level. You want components that are made for the things that you're going to be doing, not necessarily just because they look cool and cost a lot of money. Choosing a prosthetist can be difficult. You need a prosthetist that's certified. And you may not always finish with the same prosthetist you start with, because not everybody is great at fitting every type of amputee. The main thing that you need to find is one that's able to fit you comfortably, that has time to spend time with you to get what you need done right. My job is not just to finish by giving you a prosthesis and hand it and saying, bye, we'll see you later. My job is to really make the thing work for you. You're going to be here to see me several times a year, really for the rest of your life. And you should never feel afraid to call your process. I've had plenty of amputees say to me, hey, I just didn't want to bother you. It bothers me when you have a sore or when you're not walking correctly or you feel like something's just not right. It bothers me that you wait to come to see me. I want you to come see me so we can get this thing right, right from the start. What I do is only a small part of the plan. The big part of it is the patient wanting to go back to those things, then doing all the work that's required to do it, because it's a lot of work. And it may take a physical therapist, and it may take a doctor, and it may take your process all working together to get you there, but it's still up to that patient to really want it. You can do anything you were doing before. You just might have to do it a little differently. <laughs>